A Wi-Fi heat map is a visual representation of wireless signal coverage and strength. It aids in pinpointing weak signal areas and enhancing wireless network coverage with simulations during various deployment phases. During the design phase of a project, a Wi-Fi heat map simulation can be useful for developing a better deployment plan that includes AP models, deployment location and number, transmission power, wireless channels, and more. For example, if there are too few APs, the wireless coverage may be inadequate, while too many can lead to a strong wireless interference and poor quality. During installation, simulating a heat map enables comparison between simulated results and field tests, identifying discrepancies, and guiding adjustments for wireless network optimization. The Omada SDN controller has a built-in heat map feature, facilitating better wireless deployment and signal coverage monitoring. This video will guide you through using a heat map via the Omada controller. Launch your Omada controller and go to Map, Heat Map. Here is a default map. Click the icon here to add a new map. Provide a description of the map, define the layout, and upload a map image. For indoor layouts, selecting a heat map type tailored to your specific scenario will enhance simulation precision. Click Add. You will need to set the map scale first before proceeding to the next step. Draw a line on the map by clicking and dragging, and then define the distance of the line. Click Confirm. You have successfully set the scale. If you want to change it, click the map scale icon in the upper right to reset the scale. After setting the scale, you can click the measure icon here to draw a line on the map to measure the actual distance according to the map scale. To zoom in or out of the map, you can click the icons here or simply use your mouse wheel. Click this icon to fit the map to the web page. You can left click and drag to move the map. Click the settings icon to set the default height of the added devices and the information displayed on the map. Click confirm to save the settings. After clicking the edit map icon, a window showing a list of maps will pop up, where you can edit, copy, and delete maps. The opacity bar can help you adjust the opacity of the map. Click Edit to switch to the editing mode of the map. Click the Add Wall icon in the upper left to add different types of walls or obstacles on the map. Adding the correct obstacles will increase the accuracy of simulation results. Here are some built-in options for walls and obstacles with different materials and common attenuation values for different bands. You can edit the parameters of the walls and obstacles shown on the map, including their color, name, and attenuation values. You can also add a new wall based on your actual situation or delete the existing walls. To obtain more accurate simulation results, we recommend measuring the signal strength of the two sides of a wall to calculate the actual signal attenuation values and adding the new wall with the actual values for future simulations. To draw walls on the map, choose a wall type, left click on the map to start, and right click or hit enter to end. If you want to delete the walls you have drawn, click the select icon in the upper right and click the wall to delete. After building the walls on your map, click the add wireless devices icon in the upper left to add the adopted or virtual devices to the map. If you add the adopted devices, the Omada controller will generate the heat map based on the actual state of the corresponding APs. In the virtual devices list, you will have more options for wireless devices. You can use a search bar to quickly find the models or device types you want. If you add virtual devices, you can set the wireless parameters for the devices and the controller will generate the heat map based on your settings. 
This function is commonly used for simulation during the project design phase for better network planning. Drag the devices to the desired places on the map. You can click the devices on the map to modify their settings, including name, mounting method, and installation height and angle. Please note that different installation angles can make a difference for the wireless coverage of outdoor APs. You may need to adjust the angle to obtain stronger wireless signals for the target areas. You can also adjust the wireless channel and transmission power here to get better wireless coverage while minimizing wireless interference. Make sure to click Apply to save the settings. In this pop-up window, you can also copy the device with the same settings on the map or remove it from the map. By clicking the icon drop-down menu here, you can adjust the size of the devices displayed on the map. Click Done to save your deployment. The device list here will show the information of the wireless devices you have added to the map. After finishing deployment, click Simulate to generate the heat map. This may take some time, depending on your computer performance and the heat map scale. Choose different bands and refresh the simulation to see the result of a specific band. The red area indicates a stronger signal, and it gradually turns purple as the signal gets weaker. By enabling Show Signal Strength, you can move the cursor to view the signal strength of a specific location. By moving the receiver sensitivity bar below the map, you can adjust the receiver sensitivity. Suppose a project requires high-quality Wi-Fi coverage for all areas. Setting the receiver sensitivity to negative 65 decibel milliwatts will highlight areas in white that don't meet requirements, indicating where additional access points or increased transmission power is needed to extend coverage. The new settings will take effect after refreshing the simulation. Click this icon and follow the instructions to specify an area to view the signal coverage the signal strength, and the corresponding percentage. Click the export icon to generate a report which includes information on the devices, layout, and heat map for each wireless band. 